Angel Reese admitted to the entire world why she dislikes Caitlin Clark. The world of sports thrives on drama, rivalries, and events that send shockwaves across the community. Few rivalries in women's basketball have attracted the audience as much as the one between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. These two incredible athletes have not only dominated the court with their abilities, but they have also caused debates and controversies that have split fans. The Indiana Fever, which is Caitlin Clark's team, based off against the Chicago Sky this past week. And you saw Chandler Carter literally tackle Caitlin Clark in the middle of the game. On the bench, you could see Angel Reese celebrating. Following the timeout, you could see Angel Reese hugging Carter and praising her. Sports expert Dan Patrick recently sparked a scandal with his harsh criticism of Angel Reese. But what Caitlin Clark did next flipped the story on its head and sent shockwaves across the sports world. What's behind Patrick's harsh remarks and how has Clark's daring decision changed the landscape of women's basketball? This is a story story of competition, redemption, and an uncertain future. Caitlin Clark is a phenomenon. And if I said to any of these people who think Caitlin Clark is not the rookie of the year, I'd say, who would you want to start your franchise with? Angel Reese is a wonderful player, but she does not compare to what and who Caitlin Clark is. To really understand the gravity of Dan Patrick's remarks and Caitlin Clark's actions that followed, we must first look at the backgrounds of these two great athletes. Angel Reese and Elsu Tigers forward has become a symbol of power and determination in women's college basketball. With her tireless energy and aggressive play style, she has dominated the court, guiding her team to several victories and cementing her place as one of the sport's brightest stars. The history of the WNBA, she's now going to try to set the all-time record, but 12 games to go. Now, this is happening exactly how I scripted it. I, I think that was lost on a lot of people. Caitlin Clark, on the other hand, has redefined what it means to play guard in women's basketball. Clark, who plays for the Iowa Hockeys, has amazed viewers with her ability to score from anywhere on the floor. Her deep three-point shots, fast decision-making, and clutch performances have led to her comparisons to some of the best basketball players in history. While Clark's scoring talent frequently draws headlines, it is her leadership and vision on the floor that truly separates her from others. Ace, these two players proceeded to make waves in the sports world. Rivalry became unavoidable. Fans couldn't get enough of the interplay created by Reese's physical dominance v's Clark's style and skill. However, as their popularity grew, so did criticism, and it was only a matter of time before someone with a platform as enormous as Dan Patrick spoke up. By the way, speaking of basketball, uh, Caitlin Clark uh, now has the rookie record the history of the WNBA as uh, she's now going to try to set the all-time record, but 12 games to go. Now, this is happening exactly how I scripted it. I told you this is going, they, they loaded up the schedule, front end, front loaded. Dan Patrick, an experienced sports broadcaster known for his strong beliefs, used strong words when it came to Angel Reese. During a segment on his show, Patrick attacked Reese's playing style, calling it excessively aggressive and implying that her attitude towards the game bordered on unsportsmanlike conduct. Patrick pointed out that, while energy is important in sports, Reese's behavior was inappropriate and set a negative example for younger players. Players. Caitlin Clark on a bad team, you know, the worst team because they drafted her number one. They were going to load up against better competition, and she played an entire college basketball season, and she didn't play well. And I said at the time, she didn't deserve to be on the uh, Olympic team. Before we move on, I'd like to ask you a small favor. If you appreciate this content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Needless to say, Patrick's comments did not end there. He then questioned Reese's maturity, implying that she needed to grow up in order to have a successful professional career. He compared her to other athletes who had successfully channeled their energy into constructive leadership, hinting that Reese was failing to do so. And at the time, I felt that. But she got rest. The schedule, not as demanding, and now you're seeing Caitlin Clark. And for everybody who talked about, oh, you know, she's just a shooter. She's, going, she's already set the all-time rookie 
assist record. Patrick's words provoked an instant and passionate response. Fans of Angel Reese and fans of women's basketball rushed to social media to vent their anger. Many others criticized Patrick of holding Reese to a different standard than male athletes who are frequently recognized for their anger and passion. The double standard was clear, and critics argued that Patrick's remarks were not only unfair but also reflective of a bigger problem in sports journalism. She just had 20 rebounds. She's a double-double, guaranteed. Absolutely. But anybody who tries to sell you on this is selling you on something to get clicks. That's all this is. There is this is a phenomenon. Caitlin Clark is a phenomenon. And if I said to any of these people who think Caitlin Clark is not the rookie of the year, I'd say, who would you want to start your franchise with. As news of Dan Patrick's remarks circulated, social media platforms were flooded with responses. Hashtags in favor of Angel Reese started trending and supporters from all over the world rallied to her defense. They pointed out that male sportsmen such as LeBron James and Russell Westbrook have long been praised for their aggressive methods of play. Yet when a woman demonstrates the same degree of energy, she is criticized. So she's sort of embraced a Draymond Green role here. Uh, but the eyeballs on the WNBA really have to do with Caitlin Clark. Now you might, if you stay long enough, maybe you'll see something or someone that you go, okay, I'm entertained by this. But there's nothing wrong with admitting that you watch a sport because of one singular person. The argument rapidly became heated, with some fans demanding that Dan Patrick apologize to Reese. Others urged that sports media outlets improve their coverage of female athletes, claiming that relentless criticism and harsh standards were pushing women's sports back. Kim Mulkey, Reese's coach, was among many who spoke out in her support. Mulkey commended Reese's competitive spirit and court leadership in an emotional statement. She described Reese is a warrior who plays with passion and emotion, and she made it obvious that she supported her player completely. Mulkey's statements resonated with many people, and her support of Reese only added fuel to the fire. To the bench, to a huge ovation. 20 and 11 for the All-American. Reese handled the incident with caution and confidence. In an interview, she understood that not everyone would love her playing style, but she stated clearly that she would not allow the criticism affect who she is as a player. I'm here to win, Reese said, and I'll play the game the way I know how. If that requires being forceful and passionate, then so be it. Now you might, if you stay long enough, maybe you'll see something or someone that you go, okay, I'm entertained by this. But there's nothing wrong with admitting that you watch a sport because of one singular person. People watched golf because of Tiger. While the sports world was still suffering from Dan Patrick's comments, Caitlin Clark made a move that completely changed the narrative. In an unexpected turn of events, Clark stated that she was collaborating with a big sports brand to develop a groundbreaking effort focused at promoting women's basketball at the grassroots level. The initiative, which is named Jame Changers, includes free basketball clinics for young girls, scholarships for ambitious athletes, and mentorship programs to assist the next generation of female basketball players in achieving their goals. Clark's choice to utilize her platform for such a good cause was widely praised, and it rapidly became the buzz of the sports world. A number of sports bars around the country are promising to only show women's basketball games during March Madness. The bars are known collectively as the empty ones. <laughs> A new report claims that recent stories on, on the Sports Illustrated website were actually generated by AI, and it's already making glaring mistakes. The timing of Clark's action added to its impact. Clark skillfully moved the focus from negative to something helpful and uplifting by introducing game changers in the midst of the chaos over Dan Patrick's remarks. It was a masterstroke that sealed Clark's reputation as not only a top player, but also a leader and role model in the sports world. Caitlin Clark's project had a significant influence on women's basketball. The release of game changers has refocused attention on the sport and caused crucial discussions about the need for additional support and resources for female competitors, Clark's focus on the grassroots level helps to guarantee that the sport grows and that young girls have the opportunity to follow their basketball goals. For instance, it made up something called the WNBA. Like, <laughs> Iowa's Final Four game against UConn was the most watched women's college basketball game ever with 14.2 million viewers, beating the previous record by 14.2 million viewers. <laughs> 
However, Clark's decision has far-reaching consequences beyond the initiative's immediate benefits. It has also emphasized athletes' ability to influence change both on and off the court. Clark's choice to utilize her position for good has encouraged other athletes to do the same, and it set a new standard for sports leadership. The media has had a significant impact in shaping the narrative around the Angel reese caitlin Clark rivalry and the consequences from Dan Patrick's statements. While Patrick's comments generated uproar, they also highlighted the larger concerns of double standards and misogyny in sports. No one cares about these women's sports. That's what it is, bruv. That's what it is. Yeah? They're just not that entertaining like that. They're just not. Why would... Okay, first of all, yeah? Why would I pay hard-earned money, yeah, to go and watch a basketball game that is slower... Like, the school level is just lower. The response to Caitlin Clark's Game Changers project has been extremely positive, with many thanking her for utilizing her for util position to make a difference. However, the media's differences in treatment of male and female athletes has not gone ignored. While male athletes are frequently recognized for their off-the-court initiatives, female athletes like Clark typically have to work twice as hard to achieve the same recognition. This inequality must be addressed if women's sports are to continue to thrive and receive the prominence they deserve. The media must give fair and equal coverage of female athletes and recognize their accomplishments both on and off the court. As the dust settles on the Dan Patrick scandal and the introduction of Caitlin Clark's campaign, questions persist about what the future holds for these two exceptional athletes. I've had a narrative all year where they told me I was too hood, I was too ghetto, she plays dirty, she plays too hard, but Every time I, anything I do, it goes viral. Every, every single time, positive or negative. When she did it, everybody was so happy. When I did it, it was an issue. Those South Carolina girls, they're my girls, and they SEC girls, so nobody's gonna disrespect them, and they also disrespect Angel Reese's road forward appears obvious, but difficult. Despite the criticism, she remains an intimidating force on the court, and her enthusiasm for the sport is evident. But will the criticism that she faces force her to change her style of play, or will she keep playing with the same passion that has given her success? And how will Reese's career progress in light of the constant media attention and expectations that come with being a high-profile Profile athlete. Caitlin Clark, on the other hand, has proven herself not just as a basketball star but also as a leader and champion for women's sports. Her Game Changers project marks the start of what might be a long and successful career off the court. However, this new status brings additional expectations and duties. Will Clark be able to balance her on court performance with off court projects, or will the responsibilities of being a sports community leader have an impact on her game? I don't think Angel should be criticized at all. You know, no matter which way it goes um you know she should never be criticized for what she did i think everybody knew there was going to be a little trash talk in the entire tournament it's not just me and angel so like i said i'm a big fan of hers then there's the issue of how this rivalry will evolve will the media continue to throw reese and clark against one other or can their relationship take a new turn as they join forces to campaign for the future of women's basketball imagine the effect if these two athletes who have captivated the sports world with their rivalry collaborated on programs to assist and elevate the next generation of female athletes. Clark, hammer. Three Sky players coming over. I believe to Angel Reese. Yep, across the head. And they will go to the monitor to review this one. Yeah, that's the that's right. Anytime the head is hit, they usually... The sports world is full of twists and turns, and Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark's stories are far from over. As these two players continue to manage their careers in the limelight, one thing is clear both are strong forces on and off the court. However, with so many unsolved issues and unexplored possibilities, the future is anything but certain. Will Reese and Clark's conflict continue to dominate headlines, or will other stories emerge? Will the conflicts and obstacles they face increase their determination, or will they have have unexpected consequences. Only time will tell, but one thing is certain this is a story that is still being written, and the next chapter will undoubtedly be even more exciting than the last. So buckle up, sports fans, because the drama is far from over. So what do you guys think will be Angel Reese's next step? Let us know in the comments section below. And now we conclude our video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. See you soon. Thanks for watching.